Hello, I'm Dr. Manor Haas. I'm a certified endodontist from Toronto, Canada. In this segment, I would like to review sealer placement in the canals and how to block adjacent canals from excess warm gutta percha that may flow over and block them out. When it comes to sealer use, please use very little. As you can see in the clinical video, for an average size canal, simply use enough sealer to cover the tip of a paper point. That's it. In a larger canal, of course, you'll need a bit more, but not much more. The paper point with the sealer should be inserted just short of the working length. You should brush the full length of the canal walls as if to lightly paint them with this little bit of sealer. This should only take a few seconds per canal. As a note, I do not recommend you use a quick set sealer or a liquid powder based sealer. No matter how you mix that sealer, it's not likely to be an ideal gutta core lubricant and perform as well as a liquid to liquid based sealer. Tulsa, the pioneer of carrier based obturators, designed gutta core with a liquid to liquid based sealer in mind. And in turn, that's what should be used and is what I use and recommend. It's what's meant to be. Next, in teeth with multiple canals, I like to block the orifices of adjacent canals by using paper points that are larger than the size of the master files. The larger paper point does not need to reach the canal lengths. It only serves to prevent overflowing warm gutta percha from blocking out adjacent canals. To improve visibility into the pulp chamber, I personally recommend cutting a paper point at or below the occlusal table. This will improve your visibility into the pulp chamber and prevent interfering with the warm gutta core as it's inserted into an adjacent canal. Once the canal is obturated, simply remove the adjacent paper point and you're left with a clean and clear path to obturate the next canal. Finally, I'd like to say that one of the many great aspects of this obturation system is that thanks to the small amount of sealer required, canals are almost entirely filled with warm gutta percha and with very little sealer as you may see in this photo. That's undoubtedly the ideal kind of obturation and a great highlight of the gutta core obturation system. Also, keep in mind that less sealer means less apical extrusion and less post-op pain. I hope you found this to be useful. Good luck and thank you for your time.